This is Rider Water between Ambleside and Grasmere. It's just a mile long and a quarter of a mile wide. But what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in scenic beauty. We're going to walk around the lake, starting at White Moss Common. There's a choice of routes, clockwise or anti-clockwise. The toss of a coin is required. It's tails, so anti-clockwise it is, which entails crossing the river to the woods beyond. The bluebells have come late this year. But it's been well worth the wait. It's a well made path up through the woods. Past this wonderfully spooky looking tree. And out onto the fell side. There's a choice of routes, we take the high road. And it's not long before the views start to open up. As the track climbs, the views get even better. The hill opposite, or failed to give it its proper name, is Nab Scar. The small white house beside the lake is Nab Cottage. It was once home to Thomas de Quincey, and later Hartley Coleridge, the son of the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. After just over a mile, we reach the caves. As any good amateur geologist will tell you, these are not natural. They're the remains of a slate quarry. If you're staying in the area, then there is a good chance that the Lakeland stone that your holiday accommodation is built from came from here. The stone was carted to Ambleside down this wide track. I'm reliably informed that the wall here was adapted to create a drinking trough for the ponies that pulled the carts. While the horse took a drink, the driver enjoyed a view. This is one of my favourite seats in the whole of the Lake District. Blessed with one of my favourite views. It would be nice to spend a bit more time here, but we're not yet halfway round. And I fancy an ice cream. We soon reach a row of cottages. I like those windows. Spooky. There's no one around, but I've got this weird feeling that I'm being watched. A short stroll down the hill, past Pelter Bridge Car Park, and we reach the river again. 
complete with ice cream then. Sitting on a bridge, eating ice cream in the rain. What could be nicer? One rain diluted ice cream corn it later, it's time to get a move on. We're in Rydal on the main Ambleside to Grasmere Road. This is the Rash Field, better known as Dora's Field. It was bought by William Wordsworth with the intention of building a house for his daughter Dora. But as you can see, the house was never built. After Dora died in 1847, the Wordsworths planted hundreds of daffodils in the field as a memorial to her. We're a bit late for those, but the bluebells make a pretty good substitute. Wordsworth also had some influence over the site and design of the church. And was church warden for a short period. It would have been an easy role for him to carry out, as he lived just up the road at Rydal Mount. The house and gardens are open to the public, and have been kept just as they were when Wordsworth lived here. Beyond Rydal Mount we turn left, back towards Grasmere, via the Coffin Route. Before the modern road was built, this was the way to Grasmere. Ambleside had no church or graveyard, so if you lived there in the 18th century, this would be the route of your final journey. Spare a thought for the coffin bearers. Carrying their load this distance along a rocky track was no mean feat. Along the way we come across a bit of natural art, converted to a piggy bank. This is a coffin rest. There used to be several and this one has been restored back to full working order. More cracking views, this time of Lofrig. Just visible behind the trees, the caves. Rest over, time to move on. Onwards and upwards as they say. Mum! Mum! What is it now? Why, why is that human going over the tree roots? They all do it. There's a perfectly good path by the wall, but will they listen? He, he's going to fall. Fall. I can't look. Hooray! I think he's going to make it. Hey, <laughs> just showing off. We do that all the time. We're back at White Moss Common. Just past the cottage we turn left, up this narrow path to climb to the top of the fell.
heading for that rock in the distance. It's just a shame that it's raining again. Can't dampen the spirit though. I think I might just go round again. <laughs> 